Today we're going to talk about how to create your very own learning space. This is such an exciting time for you because when you have a desk and a cubby in school, it's easy to find your items. But how does that look at home? Today we're going to talk about that. So now that we've read the book Just a Mess, I want you to ask yourself, why is it important to have a clean space? Now we probably know about cleaning up our toys and why that's important, but why is it important to keep all of your school supplies and your learning tools in a clean space at home? Go ahead and pause this video and think about that. Okay, did you think about it? So our question was, why is it important to have a clean space? Well, here may have been some of the answers you thought of. First, you will be able to quickly find everything you need. That's super important when you have an important task and you have to find the materials quickly. Another reason is none of your amazing hard work will get lost. It's always such a sad feeling when you work really hard on something and then you can't find it. By having a clean space, you'll be sure to not lose any of that awesome work that you are doing. And last, you will have more space to work. I know I always struggle if I'm super cramped and I don't have a lot of space. If you want to do your best work, it's important to have a lot of space to do it. Let's go ahead and set up our learning space. Here's a few things that you will need to build your reader's toolbox and your writing toolbox. You're going to need pencils and erasers. You may even want some pens. Books to read, about three books. A reader's notebook and a poetry notebook. And those are just going to look like plain composition books, unless your teacher gave you a different one. You'll want some bookmarks, some sticky notes, and then you'll want a reading and a writing folder to keep all of your papers nice and neat. Go ahead and pause it here and go ahead and grab all of those supplies throughout your house. Don't worry, if you're missing something, it's not a big deal. Do you have all of your items? Okay, let's move on. Last but not least, we need to talk about how we're going to store all of these things. We had a lot of items to collect, so we don't want to just lay them all over the table. Here's a few ideas. First, you could use a gallon Ziploc bag. These are the baggies that are pretty big. You can store your books and your pencils and all of your materials in here, and then keep them somewhere special that you're going to know where to find them. If you don't want to do that, another choice is to put your things in a big cereal box. There's going to be a video down below of how to decorate this, but you might need help from a grown-up if you choose to do that. The last item would be to use your bookshelf in your bedroom. You might have a special place like a bookshelf or a desk that you can keep all of your items nice and safe. I'm excited to see what you came up with. 